Free Energy Now. Welcome to Free Energy Now. I'm your host, Sterling Allen. Uh, today is October 20th, 2008, and we have some guests from down in Brazil, Cesar Foss, who is the co-inventor of what is called the Kepian Scalar Motor, invented by Noberto Kepi, Ph.D., he uh, has written the book, The New Physics Derived from a Disinverted Metaphysics. Uh, this, the Kepi motor allegedly requires a quarter as much electricity to generate power as a normal motor by capturing scalar energy from the vacuum of space. It is named after Norberto Kepi. So we thank you all for joining us. No, we thank you, Alan. So if we could start by talking about how does this thing work? What is it that you have? What what makes it and sets it apart from other technologies out there? Well, Alan, uh, this is this is Caesar speaking, right? Um, okay. Alan, what happens is this: um, normally, it is the Kepi motor is an electric motor, generally speaking. But the, the electric motors in general, they use DC current or AC current. We worked with uh, DC pulsed current. Dr. Kepi made a huge work on philosophy, and he found that physics is inverted. And what is this inversion in physics? Physics thinks that energy must be extracted from material elements. So that's why we think we have to have coal or gasoline, or material things to extract energy from. And uh, Dr. Kepi redirections this philosophy, saying that the space itself, the vacuum itself, has its energy. So this new technology is how to capture this energy from space, uh, leaving the material world free from, our, for, from deple depletion. So the Kepi motor use the basic principle that there is another way of feeding coils and uh, the coils in a motor. We use DC pulsed currents. And why that? Because the natural movement of all matter is pulsating. If you think about the most energetic uh, object in the universe is a pulsar, right? The pulsar is a source of radio waves. It pulsates. If you look at a cell, a human cell or any other living cell, it pulsates as well. So the pulse is the source of energy. So when you think that space is energy, so matter depends on the energy of space to exist. So this technology is just uh, to capture this energy, right? What do we do? Uh, we, by, we noticed in the os oscilloscope, you call it the scope, right? Mm -hmm. We noticed that when you make a special arrangement between coils in the rotor and the stator of the motor, when you shut off the DC current, you have a pulse in an inverted way, too. You, not you have a pulse upwards and another pulse following immediately downwards. These downwards pulse is different from the interruption, inductive interruption we see normally in coils. And so we use this downward pulse. This downward pulse is the extra energy taken from space. The result is that the rotor spins much faster, much more powerful, and the battery or the AC current feeding it, rectified, doesn't uh, expand so much, and the coils get cold. They do not heat up. And uh, one of the greatest advantages of this method is that we can uh, apply this technology, feeding technology, to any other electric conventional motor, any other. We just by looking at it, you can redesign the rotor and the stator of the motor and get at least 80% economy in energy. We managed to make up a 50-watt uh, fan, for example, domestic fan, run on only 3.7 watts. This is an actual data, okay? It was measured in many different ways, and this gives a 93% less consumption of energy. But the thing we can... Uh, 
we can devise for now is to work this motor together with solar panels. Because imagine, Alan, if um, one, uh, take one, uh, one square yard solar panel could be, could run, let's say, 100 watts equipment. And this solar panel together with a deep discharge battery, this, uh, the solar panel doesn't need it, uh, full sunlight to work. You know, if the, the weather can be even cloudy, but it uh, charges the battery. And if our motor uh, runs on much less energy, our motor could continuously run for days and days and days with very little amount of sun energy. So we are almost touching what uh, some scientists call free energy uh, over unity equipment. This is a reality. For now, we could do it. The motor, the captain motor, is, is much easier to do than the conventional one. It can even be built without any magnets, just electromagnets positioned in a, in a right way. But this design is very, very simple, very simple. If we have a, uh, one captain motor to replace a motor in a domestic appliance, it will always cost less. If we speak about in, in, in big production, it will always, always cost, cost less than the conventional one, about 50%. And some of the people, they had doubts if uh, the measurements, instruments we did to measure, uh, they were accurate enough. Then we performed uh, an experiment said by one guy from GM, General Motors, he asked us to make an experiment that would be the ultimate test to find out if the motor really was uh, high efficient. We did two. We took two batteries, car batteries, new, and we put two um, fans, domestic fans, one running continuously in one uh, car battery, and the other one we replaced for a capi motor, a similar capi motor uh, e equivalent. The first one. The conventional fan took 10 hours to drop the speed of the blade from 1,100 RPM to 850 RPM. This took 10 hours for it. Our motor uh, did, did the same work in 55 hours. So we got 80-something percent more efficiency with the motor, too. So when we show this, to the companies, they get very interested of the the regular one, and it's simple simple to do. And if it's a motor that doesn't heat up, you can replace the coils for aluminium wires, aluminium cables, which are 30 percent uh, lighter than the copper ones because they don't heat up, and it doesn't need to be high quality materials. They can be done. The body of the motor can be done on nylon wood, or even paper, if you will, because it doesn't heat up. So the advantages are so big, depending on the application, you don't need much uh, hard materials or things difficult to find in the market, you see. Do you think the 50-watt uh, motor output um, would be a good place to start that requires only, what, 3.5 watts or even 10 watts, whatever? Is that a good design to start with? Yes, very good design. Anyone can do it at home. You don't need any factory to build one of that. You can do it by hand with wood or a piece of plastic. That's it. It would be very, very easy to do, to start with, yeah. And I think the ideas, if people start to build these cap motors, a lot of ideas will come to them, and they will share these ideas with us. And so we can exchange technology, intellectual knowledge, and this will go forward faster and faster. And very soon we will have a final pro product that maybe even r become a self-running machine. I believe it can become a self-running machine. There is a, a specific point yet we didn't grasp it, but I'm pretty sure we can get there. We'll end on that note. Hey, you guys, it's been great talking to you. We'll be in touch by email. Uh, this has been a great interview. You've been listening to Free Energy Now, brought to you by PES, Pure Energy Systems. You may access past archives and upcoming show info at freeenergynow.net.